Axelrod, really, he's got it nailed. These public polls are all over the place. Privately, both sides are saying that things are narrowing. Obviously, two debates over the next week. It's this is, you got to be the the most important week of the campaign uh, before the final run. Um, what does President Obama have to do to change the narrative to stop the bleeding, even if the bleeding is down to a trickle now? Yeah, well, it's called winning a debate. This is the most important debate <laughs> since the last debate, and it's the most important debate till the next debate, right? No. Wow. Um, okay, I, so. How about that? No. Yeah, yeah that's I, something. I, no, I, I, I actually, I do think this debate is it, Mitt Romney's big problem, right? What's the thing that's keeping him from closing the sale? Likeability, personal comfort. Is he, does he, he may not be one of us, but does he understand us? Well, of all the three debates, What's the one where you interact with real people, this town hall debate? So, you know, for Romney, this is the debate where he could win this election. He could blow up the stereotype that he, you know, can't interact with people, doesn't, doesn't you know, doesn't have that sort of uh, Bill Clinton gene in him where he knows that exactly the right time to put an arm around somebody, exactly the right time to connect with somebody. Uh, and that's why it is, you know, it's, it's more than just the president having to win this debate to stop the bleeding to change things but this is this is the moment the first debate was romney getting into the playoffs this is the debate where he could almost close it out if it's such a good performance because of the format right and because it would help him in this big in this one area where he's got the biggest deficit connecting with the average american and boy, if you're the incumbent president and you're in this type of format and you're George H.W. Bush and you look down at your watch, it's even worse with all of these Americans around you watching, makes you seem more disconnected. It seems to me the president has a big challenge, a very big challenge, seen as a guy that's been detached, emotionally right. withdrawn. Uh, if he doesn't turn in a good performance with Americans there at this town hall style meeting, uh, that seems to me that it's more than just the biggest debate until the next debate. I, I agree. This, this no, 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 no. A real and, problem. And I, and I know we're. I think we're both being very hesitant to hype this like that. Right. Because, but I feel like this one is that big, and because you know, there's something that happened in the campaign. It, it wasn't just that Romney got into the with that first debate, and it's sort of, you know, at first you heard Democrats saying, "Oh, Republicans are just coming home," and that's what tightened the polls. And in fact, I actually heard some Republicans say that. I have to say, in the private data that I've heard about over the last couple of days, the last 72 hours, plus what you're seeing, I feel like there has been a structural shift. We're no longer in this. It's even but the president has these advantages. The but the president has these advantages in the battleground states, I think, is gone. I mean, yes, the president has an advantage in Ohio, but we're starting to see a consistent uh, Romney, very narrow, but a Romney lead in places uh, like Florida. We're seeing Colorado totally dead even, Iowa closing. So I think that, that there is something structural that happened, and that's why this debate, critical time, if the president doesn't show up, he could end up in a deficit that I don't know if one more debate could make it up.